deleting past videos off of my card on my camera, the noise sounded like jingle bells. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Mandy and this is Sweetly Home. We like to talk about all things heart and home here and I just want to welcome you. I am teaming up with a few of my gal pals here from YouTube and we are going to give you some holiday Christmas themed videos over the next few days talking about traditions, stocking stuffers, crafts and DIYs and all sorts of things. These gals are wonderful. They put a lot of time and effort into putting this collab together and creating their videos and I just really want to encourage you to go check them out. Send them a little love. Tell them, hey from Mandy and enjoy the content that they're going to share with you because I know um, it's going to be really good and I can't wait to watch. So today we are talking about our favorite Christmas traditions and I just got to say, if there's one thing about me and Christmas, it is all about traditions for me. I mean, I, I just am, I can't go through the holiday without following through with some of my very favorite traditions. It just, it would not seem like Christmas to me. So today I'm gonna to share with you a few of those. So the first centers around my very favorite, most special Christmas movie, and that is Rudolph. When my dad was a kid, he watched Rudolph every year. Um, I'm not sure what year it came out, but I, if I'm not mistaken, he may have been watching it from the very beginning. And when we were kids, he would watch it with us, and I am now carrying that on with my family. And even before I had kids, I would watch it every year. I don't think I've ever missed a year in my 34 years of existence. It is such a special tradition. Um, and for me, there's some Christmas movies that I can watch over and over and over again, and I can have them on as background noise or whatever, but not Rudolph. It is kind of a one-and-done deal for me. It is a night where we um, have like special snacks, and it's thought out in advance, and this is Rudolph, and it just feels like Christmas. In fact, my daughter was born December 20th, and I had to stay in the hospital a little bit longer with her due to some complications. And so she came home um, on Christmas Eve, and I waited the whole month of December because I wanted to watch Rudolph with her, her very first Christmas season. Um, we thought she was going to be born a little bit earlier than she did. She was born a little bit later. Um, but... Yeah, so I've carried it on with my kids, and we have yet to watch it yet this season, but it'll probably be, I'm guessing, next week. So speaking of the Rudolph tradition, I mentioned that we have special snacks, and one of that special snacks I have to have during holidays is Chex Mix. My grandma made Chex Mix, um, I think, again, like when my mom was younger, uh, she would make the Chex Mix, and then my mom started making the Chex Mix, and then I started making the Chex Mix, and my sisters make it as well, and it is just a thing that connects me with Christmas's past and with people who are no longer in my life. My grandparents had both passed away, so um, just those special snacks and those special traditions and rituals that we always do just... I feel like they really just connect me with the people that I love that um, I can't spend Christmas with any longer. In fact, when I was home visiting my family for Thanksgiving, my sisters and I made Chex Mix. And we like to put it in like a really big, huge metal bowl and you make a little um, checklist for, to stir every 15 minutes for two hours. And um, it is just wonderful. And so all season long, we watch our Christmas movies and we have Chex Mix and Pepsi. Used to be Pepsi for me. Um, I don't drink pop anymore. I like Zevia, which is a pop, but it's sweetened with Stevia. And it's really good. And it gives you that feeling. So, yeah. Another one of my traditions, again, this is one that has to do with a movie, is to watch Scrooge or Christmas Carol, whatever you want to call it, we call it Scrooge, um, every Christmas Eve. Now, this was, again, a tradition that started with my dad, and we would often go over to my grandma's house on Christmas Eve and have uh, 
present opening and um, time with my dad's side of the family. And then we would come home and we kitties would head on up to bed and my dad would turn on Scrooge and you could kind of hear it throughout the house because um, we lived in a bit of a, um, a smaller kind of 100 year old house and um, we would settle in our beds and you could hear Scrooge and the music and um, I just have so many memories of going to bed with my dad watching that movie. And then when I got older, I started watching it with him. Our favorite version is the George C. Scott version, and I own it now, and I watch Scrooge every Christmas Eve, and it's just the thing. I go to bed, like, after Scrooge wakes up in the morning, and he's a changed man, and I just, I don't know. It's a thing I do, and I don't love it. So it wouldn't feel like Christmas for me if I didn't make my grandma's cut out cookie recipe. Now I think it's called butter cookies. I think growing up I called them sugar cookies, but they're not sugar cookies. I think it's it's a butter cookie. Which is just like a it's a cutout cookie and we frost it and um we add food coloring to the frosting. And so we do really pale, pretty pink frosting and a really pale, pretty green frosting. And when we were kids, my mom would make the cookies. She's an excellent baker. And again, this is a recipe that my grandma always made. And so my mom carried on the tradition and now I'm carrying it on. Um, and when we were kids, we would frost. I mean, it felt like hundreds of these cookies because you needed them all season long. And you can't just eat one in a sitting and... They're so good, they practically melt in your mouth, that you just eat and eat and eat, and they're so good. And as kids, we would decorate the cookies, and that was always really fun. We had different colored sanding sugars and sprinkles, and um, as we grew up, they got like a little bit more elaborate with placing the sprinkles in certain ways, and sometimes we would not want to frost them, and so they were quickly done, but not really, because it really was always a special tradition, and I just have a lot of memories sitting around the kitchen table with my sisters frosting these hundreds of cookies and my mom standing in the kitchen making more dough and it was just it was just wonderful another tradition i actually picked up from my mother-in-law and this is something that she always did for her kids and still continues to do um she buys a christmas ornament every year and so i have um when we got married she gifted um well, my husband and I, all of his ornaments. So I have all of his Christmas ornaments from the year he was born all the way up. And so every year she buys a new ornament and it's always so special to see uh, what she's going to get for an ornament for each of us. And yeah, they're just so wonderful. She always tries to pick one that sort of sums up the year or signifies a big life event that happened that year. Um, and it's really fun to kind of go back over the years and look at the different ornaments. Um, one thing that she did that was so great that I'm so thankful for is that she actually wrote the date on the ornament itself. So she would take, I guess, like a paint pen or a Sharpie or something and just in an inconspicuous spot would write the date and that was so helpful because I mean like 30 years later you may not remember like what year you got that ornament but we have record of it because of the date and so now I buy my kids ornaments and I buy myself one too because I love Christmas ornaments in fact when we go um, on vacation I buy a Christmas ornament as sort of my souvenir and that's always fun to put them on the tree and remember um, those those past vacations and all those fun memories. So there are lots of things that I love to do over the holidays that just, I mean, if I didn't do them, I would, it just wouldn't be Christmas. Like all the different movies that I watch, looking at lights, um, of course going to a Christmas service at some point. We, in recent years, we were going to a Christmas Eve service and then it was just a little bit more difficult when my kids were a bit older. So um, we don't totally do that anymore, but I love that Christmas is on a Sunday this year, so we'll get to go to church. Um, and of course, I always get my kids Christmas jammies. Again, like I said, my daughter was born just before Christmas, and that was one of the funnest things was finding a little pair of teeny tiny Christmas pajamas for her, and I'd hung them um, on the knob of her dresser so I could look at them and and dream about the little person who would be in those jammies. So I buy myself new Christmas pajamas and my husband as well, and that's just always super fun. So 
I love Christmas. To me, it is surrounded in beautiful tradition and lots of good food and movies and togetherness. And I would love to hear about your Christmas traditions because I'm trying to craft and create our own Christmas here as a family. I want to add in some new traditions and some new things and I would love to hear what you guys do. Maybe you have something that you think that would be a really fun idea for my family to try. Um, I'm, I love hearing what other people do and what makes Christmas special to them and all of the fun things and special and heartwarming things that you do as a family or by yourself. So let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure to check out the ladies down below. I can't wait to go watch and write down some new ideas. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a very blessed Christmas season. Bye.